we investigated the sodium deposition and dissolution by electrochemical microcalorimetry. So that means we measured the heat evolution during the deposition and the dissolution of the sodium ions on, the, on an electrode. This allows the determination of the reversible exchange heat during the deposition and dissolution process, and also the determination of the reaction entropy of the sodium deposition. And the reaction entropy in turn allows then, for example, the calculation of the coordination number of the sodium ions in different electrolyte solutions. In addition, we also received by our measurements information about the influence of the entropy on the free enthalpy of the sodium deposition reaction, and by this information about the influence of the entropy on the reduction potential of the sodium ions. And to investigate also the influence of the solvent, we did these measurements in sodium hexafluorophosphate in declime and also in sodium perchlorate in propylene carbonate. The heat is determined by measuring the temperature change of the working electrode with the pyroelectric lithium tantalate sensor. And as a working electrode, we use thin copper foils, which were directly located on top of the sensor. On the copper foil, a thick sodium film was then electrochemically deposited before we started our measurements. And these measurements typically consist of series of 10 millisecond potential pulses with amplitudes between 50 and 200 millivolt and alternating signs, and always starting from the equilibrium potential of the system. And in addition to the potential transients, then also this co the corresponding current and the temperature change at the working electrode were recorded. Um, by the thermal response of the sensor, is it then possible to determine the evolved total heat at the working electrode during every pulse? And by measuring the heat evolution during the potential pulse with different amplitudes, we can then rule out the irreversible heat contributions to the measured total heat by plotting the different values of the heat against the corresponding overpotential, and then interpolating to the value for zero overpotential. At this point, then, the total heat corresponds to the reversibly exchanged heat. And this quantity then in turn corresponds to the change in the entropy during the deposition process. By the value of the reaction entropy, we are able to determine the entropic contribution to the free entropy of the sodium reduction, which amounts minus 70 kJ per mole in decline and minus uh, 25 kJ per mole in propylene carbonate. And since the free entropy correlates directly with the Galvani potential, the entropy change also affects the reduction potential of the sodium ions. And the values of the reaction entropy we obtained from our measurements correspond to a positive shift in the redux, redux potential of 0.73 volt for the sodium ions in decline and about 0.26 in propylene carbonate. So in both systems, the entropic contribution leads to a destabilization of the sodium ions. However, the destabilization is significantly higher in decline solutions. These findings can explain now the differences in the SEI in the investigated systems which are reported in the literature. So these differences can be illustrated by a potential scale where the reference potential is the sodium reduction with purely entalpic contributions. And for comparison of both systems, we assume that, sol that the solvents are decomposed at the same potential. The higher entropy contribution in decline would then shift the reduction potential of the sodium ions to a potential above the decomposition potential of the decline molecules. And the contribution of entropy would thus result in a relative stabilization of the decline molecules compared to the sodium reduction. Since the entropic contribution to the free entropy is lower in propylene carbonate, the reduction potential of the sodium ions could be at more negative values than the reduction potential of the solvent molecules. This means that in propylene carbonate, the entropy contribution leads to a smaller stabilization of the solvent molecules compared to the decline. And this would then explain why in decline the SEI consists essentially of inorganic products uh, resulting from the reduction of the salt, uh, 
and why the SEI in propylene carbonate is composed of both inorganic products and organic products which result from the decomposition of the solvent molecules. In both systems, we could measure a cooling of the electrode during the sodium deposition and the warming during the dissolution of the sodium ions. And along with the behavior of the potential and the current transients, these results show that in both systems, the sodium deposition and dissolution is highly reversible. And the corresponding values for the reversible heat are 75 kJ per mole for the sodium deposition in decline and 25 kJ per mole for the deposition in propylene carbonate. And when we now consider the heat effects from ion transport during the reaction, these values of the reversible exchange heat correspond to a change in the reaction entropy of 234 J per mole Kelvin for sodium deposition in decline and 83 J per mole Kelvin for the deposition process in propylene carbonate. So in both systems, the entropy change during the deposition process is strongly positive, what is not expected for the immobilization of the ions on an electrode surface. However, um, these results can be explained by the influence of the solvent molecules. In the solution, the solvent molecules for, form complexes with the sodium ions and are therefore fixed in the solvation shell of the ions. And during the deposition, the molecules are then released from this solvation shell and cause an increase in the entropy, which is uh, or which overweights then the entropy loss by the immobilization of the sodium ions on the um, electrode surface. The biggest challenge was the experimental setup, since the used sensor can break easily and is also prone to environmental influences. For example, also vibrations of the building or tension within the setup can um, already influence the signal of the sensor. Therefore, it was really important to develop a setup that keeps these disruptive influences to minimum and ensure reliable results. Another change was the stability of the deposited sodium film, since it is essential for a stable equilibrium potential, which in turn is needed to measure the reversibly exchanged heat. And therefore, we first had to find out um, which material and which pretreatment of the working electrode is necessary to obtain the best results. For the future, measurement with additives like um, FEC, for example, could be interesting to see how um, such additi additives influence the reaction entropy and then also the kinetic of the deposition reaction. And by this, we could receive further information about the formation of the SEI. Also, measurements for a longer time would be important um, to learn more about the long-term evolution and also um, to learn more about the stability of the SEI.